Hi guys, this is uh, Bailey from Icebox Auto. Uh, this is a Kia Karens unit that we've installed today. Uh, this is the Style 3 HV unit, I believe. So it's the 4 core with, I know the 8 core with 4 gigabytes of RAM and then 64 gigabytes of storage. Um, this unit, obviously, you've probably seen the screen itself in a lot of other videos we've done. Uh, but obviously, the, the frame and stuff is obviously for the Kia Karens. Um, so, starting off, we've got the radio. So this is just your standard FM AM radio. Should work with your steering wheel controls over here. Uh, you can't see me messing with them, but I am messing with them. Obviously you've got volume over here as well. Uh, a little bit awkward to hit just because of the shape of that, but obviously wheel controls good enough. Um, just standard FM AM radio. Uh, I'll leave it muted obviously because copyright etc. Um, you got your Bluetooth. So this is your Bluetooth for your Android operating system. So you've got your keypads, you can download your phone book, save numbers, Bluetooth music, so that's for if you just want to Bluetooth to the unit and play a song from your phone. Uh, your settings, so there's your Bluetooth reset, there's the name of the unit, auto answer, you probably don't want that on. Um, going back, we've got music, so if you put a pen drive with songs on, uh, same with films which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, it's basically got a file manager built in, so you've got your internal storage, you've got your external storage through like a USB or an SD card or um, whatever. Um, you've got that, you've got your, uh, I believe this car possibly has a, does it have a CD player originally? No. Okay, so some things obviously you don't have, so it won't work, but it's there. There's your file manager, so this is obviously uh, similar to a computer or uh, anything with a file manager really uh, you've got your internal and then if you have something plugged in the show up over here so obviously photos audio video films etc so you can store them directly onto the unit you don't just have to keep the pen drive in you can move them along onto the unit and then obviously they'll work from there uh, gallery probably don't need to use that you've got your video player so uh, this is if you do put a film into it um, obviously they put test the videos on so you can just check the video and stuff on them uh, picture in picture does work so you can have a little window here so you add something open on that side or uh, whatever that works um, get rid of that going across you got your settings so this is all your unit settings and um, so you've got your Wi-Fi at the moment not connected but we are connected to do updates and stuff onto the unit data usage so if you do put a sim card into it um, they show up here and obviously you can just switch data on swipe down from the top you've got your Wi-Fi you've got your data airplane mode if you turn your car into a plane you've got the screen off clear memory standby reboot um, brightness pretty standard um, yeah mobile network stuff device settings so you got your display your wallpapers your, your sound settings uh, you've got your oh also this is worth knowing there you go so if you ever have one of these units turn that off because it's very annoying uh, equalizer so let me go back to the radio and show you this let me just hire this up it's the uh, m, m song go to the equalizer loud anyway probably switch that off but yeah, you get the points. You've got an equaliser. Um, fields, you can set it up like that. Default it, you got your fields. So I'm pretty sure that controls, uh, obviously, rears, driver, co-pilot, all. Surround sound, stereo sound enhancement, you just switch that on or off. Uh, you got your bass and you got your sound filter. Going on, uh, this is the car link. So this is for your car player, Android Auto. So what I'll do now is I'll just quickly connect my phone to the unit. Um, one thing is you can't connect to it while the unit's using its own internet connection or you're hotspotted to it, anything like that, or if the data's on. So basically it needs to be offline, the unit itself, and then you just pair it up on your phone and then it should connect allow access to contacts and messages so obviously calls and stuff will come through and then this is your Android Auto uh, obviously I'm an Android user so if this was um, let's say an Apple phone you'd have Apple CarPlay and obviously this just uses your phone to basically move your apps over 
uh, so yeah it's pretty standard obviously works like a lot of other units so Spotify's all there you've got your Google Maps you've got whatever you can say like uh, take me to Anfield Stadium That usually works. I think just because we got shit signal in here is probably the issue. But yeah, phone book and all stuff works through that as well. If we exit that, obviously it's still connected in the background, but um, yeah. Touch assistant, this little thing here, uh, you can turn that on or off. Basically just gives you another way to go back and uh, access your apps and stuff. Oh, no, double miss press, oh, triple miss press. There we go, I got bad depth perception. So this just gets into your apps and stuff. Pretty useless, but there going across you've got your uh, your Google Maps you've got your navigation app you've got your Play Store radio settings these are your steering wheel controls so if they're not working you can program them uh, going across you've got YouTube voice search all that good stuff uh, but yeah that's pretty much it to be honest the there's a lot of stuff you can do obviously on your settings and stuff uh, we have installed a reverse camera today uh, you launch your app settings, so if you install any other maps from the Play Store for the Android side of it, you just set the hotkey so that when you press this here, it boots up whatever it is you want. So, maps, go back, press that, Google Maps. Um, but yeah, obviously that needs an internet connection, so you'd have to hotspot it or put a um, SIM card into it, but it does work. And yeah, any apps you install off the Play Store will just show up here, and then... You can add car link to there and then tap and hold and you should be able to move them across and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Also, miles per hour to kilometres per hour is there. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it today anyway. Um, top right here, delete all. There you go.